it's Chef Andrew Fourlines with ChefAF.com, and this is the Modern Kitchen Podcast. Today's episode is all about speed ovens. Um, before we get to that, I just want to say uh, thanks all for listening. This is the series on how you as a homeowner or kitchen designer can learn more about home appliances, how to navigate the industry, select what's right for you, uh, and use it to its full potential. Today I am in the gorgeous, gorgeous um, Inspire Kitchen Design showroom here in Denver, Colorado. This is the IDC building, the International Design Collection. So we've got quite a few different showrooms all together here. Really a pleasure to be in this gorgeous space, beautiful views. So come on down if you need any home decor or remodel um, things. <laughs> this showroom's got, uh, you know, I'm in the kitchen design showroom, but this, um, you know, they've got flooring, they've got um, fixtures, plumbing, all the things you need, Light, lights like you wouldn't believe, really gorgeous stuff um, on display throughout. So definitely worth coming to see uh, here in person. So today we want to talk about your journey on selecting appliances. And we're now in the technology section. So we, the last couple episodes have been a little bit deeper in the specific technologies that are available. Today, we're gonna to talk about speed ovens. Some people call them convenience ovens. These are um, convection ovens with microwave functionality. So you're able to get the best of both uh, ovens and a microwave without sacrificing quality. So you can use it as a, as a full convection oven it can be, um, you know, it's, it's a bit smaller, more of a microwave size, but um, you're able to use that as your supplemental oven when you're doing large parties or for holiday meals. But then you can also use the microwave as just standard microwave. But what's really fun is when we start mixing those two functions together, we're able to um, speed up the cooking process because microwave cooks from the inside out and roasting or baking cooks from the outside in so we're able to speed up the process without sacrificing that quality and that nutritional um, value of the food so that we're getting the best of both. So it's really fantastic to use if you're um, needing meals quickly, if you need the convenience, um, you're gonna get that quickly cooked meal. You can get chicken breasts and cookies and all kinds of things cooked quicker than you would in a traditional oven with no preheat because it's gonna start the microwave and the baking right away. I think these are great for families, uh, very busy families that need um, meals quickly and also have children. So I'm, I'm much more comfortable letting a kid uh, work with a microwave before say turning on an oven or working with a range. And the functionality of a speed oven is um, like a microwave. So it has pre-programmed settings and meals to cook, um, but then also has auto shut off. So auto start and auto shut off when we're using it um, in, that, in that capacity so we can have kids put things in there and you can, you can trust knowing that it's gonna automatically shut off, uh, but it's also a healthier version um, as opposed to just microwaving the food. You do wanna be mindful um, and make sure that a speed oven or most microwaves in general, if you're gonna get a nice one, it has an inverter, right? An inverter is a power regulator. So what some people don't realize is your standard microwave, let's say I set it to 40% power. Um, what they do is 100% power 40% of the time. And that's uh, what they consider 40% power. So if you're trying to soften butter or anything, you're still gonna get those melted holes in the middle and have cold spots and all that. But an inverter is gonna enable you to reduce the power output. So you could say have 30 or 40% power consistently um, as you're using it, really giving you a lot more control and functionality there. So make sure it's got an inverter, make sure your speed oven, if you're getting a speed oven has an inverter because that's gonna regulate the power output. So I can get say 30% microwave when I'm baking something, I'm just gonna speed that process up a little, but I'm not gonna you know, cook it with a lot of microwave, just enough to help speed up the process. So you'll still get browning, crisping, your traditional baking and roasting um, features on the food, but you're gonna speed it up. So that's really what a speed oven is. Some people call it a convenience oven. 
and then each each brand has their version and is a little slightly different. Um, you're gonna wanna check out and see what heating elements are in there. So some are a convection fan, some are a baking element with the microwave, some will have a broiler. Um, so, you know, I think the most well-known one um, that's kind of been the marquee item in this space would be the Advantium by GE Appliance, uh, by Monogram. Um, and that has convection fan, um, a heating element underneath, so like a baking element, a, a halogen light broiler, and then also the microwave. So we've got four heat sources that we can use and, and adjust each one. So you can adjust them independently, you can adjust them yourself, or you can do the pre-program um, settings that they have there. So you say, hey, I've got chicken breast and I wanna roast it, and this is how much I have, you know? And then it'll automatically adjust and do it. Another thing to think about with microwaves um, and speed ovens is that they have a humidity sensor, and this is what detects a lot, um, that's the information that it's using to shut off. So like if you do the popcorn setting, a lot of times what it is is it's detecting the humidity, um, and as things cook, the steam is evaporating out, but once it's already cooked and that steam is out, the steam is gonna reduce. So once it sees that, feels that, senses that reduction of humidity, it's gonna shut off. So um, that's kind of how it works with one of the features, one of the, one of the, the, the mechanisms for what it can tell what's happening inside. So um, we're gonna wanna make sure we get something that, that has those sensors in it that can, can really adjust and, and tell us what's happening with the food. Um, speed ovens are, like we said, it's convenience. It's got safety features so that kids can use it. A lot of them are having pre-programmed menu items so you can scroll through um, different things that are pre-programmed so you don't have to know exactly how much time it's gonna have uh, that already decided or put in there from the factory. The Advantium, like we talked about, has those four heating elements. That technology recently, I believe, they, their, their patent on it may have, have run out because the exclusivity uh, is no longer just a GE appliance. Recently I went to the LG training for their signature kitchen suite and they have a speed oven now that is very similar to the Avantium and they said LG originally helped design the Avantium um, and now that they're in the appliance space, they are kind of reclaiming or being uh, allowed to use it as well. So those are those options there, but I've seen quite a few speed ovens um, throughout the industry. What I see a lot are the people that go for either a speed oven as their specialty oven, as their, as their auxiliary or supplemental oven, or a steam oven. So, you know, you can do both. Some of the steam ovens are getting big enough where I would be comfortable having a steam oven, a large one, plus a speed oven as my only ovens in the home. Uh, but a lot of people are doing a double stack with a traditional convection oven underneath and then on top a specialty oven. So we're seeing a lot of people do either a speed oven or a steam oven, um, depending on lifestyle and preference. The speed oven is more about convenience and speed, <laughs> right in the name. And your steam oven is gonna have uh, more control precision, but more mm, technical, um, you know, requirements. It's a little more hands-on. Um, you're gonna need to, to, to know what you're doing. It's more the gourmet experience, if you will. So that's how I see those two pieces being separate in the, in the market. I think that's all I've got to say about speed ovens. You're always welcome to reach out to me. Uh, I'm on chefaf.com. My email is andrew at chefaf.com. Uh, I always love hearing from people and answering questions about appliances, cooking, uh, anything related to your home chef journey. Um, you know, this podcast has really been to help people navigate this space. I know there's a lot more inf information and more technology available than ever before. So there's definitely the need for uh, people to, to take in a little more information, slow down that purchasing process to say, hey, there's more on the market now than ever before. So I'm happy to help in whatever way I can. Thanks for listening. Um, and next episode, we're gonna discuss connected kitchens. So all of our Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, all of our automated features and functions that are getting um, added and becoming main, main, 
mainstays in the home space and how we interact with them. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.